This is UM Gamble. We're back playing Shin Megami Tensei Nocturne last time. We just, uh, were, we were making it deeper inside the, uh, labyrinth. We went back to the land of the living or whatever to grab the afterlife bell. Because with it, we can get a special fusion, um, later in the game. So that's kind of cool. They're not, they're okay, but it's still kind of cool to get. Anyways, though, what we want to do is go all the way north because what we need to do is find... Work hard every day. We're looking for two souls. Uh, sure. I wasn't really paying attention. Sure, why not? Got nothing else to do during this quarantine. All right, and then where we need to go, I got it written down. Let's see. Okay, so we want to go all the way. Oh, well, we can't go that way. We want to start back at where we were. So we want to start over. So we just got to follow this way. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, so we're actually almost done. We're actually almost done completely with the labyrinth, which is nice. There's only a couple more things we need to do, really, and then we'll be done. And then we could uh, beat the game. Well, not beat the game, but be close. So, anyways, yeah, we're pretty. We're getting pretty close to the end of the game, which is nice. Um, uh, also, off screen, I did just a little bit of training, not a ton, but I think all that happened was I taught um, my main character just uh, endure. Or Avenge. I think it was I taught him Endure. Or maybe I taught him both. Anyways, he knows Avenge and Endure now, so that's pretty good. Oh, and I actually made... I made this guy, who will actually transform into that one demon um, that had a crown on his head when he evolves. So, he's actually pretty good. He gets some real good abilities, so that's why I made him. Okay, so let's see. We need to go all the way east. Instead of all the way north, we need to go all the way east to find this other soul alrighty leveled up actually the real nice thing about Abaddon besides just being a weirdo uh, he actually knows debilitate which is why I kept that elephant guy for a while because I wanted to make sure he learned it so that I could transfer it over all right all the way east and then okay we just got to go all the way east there he is Hmm, you look kind of like a mannequin. Just like the other guy looked kind of like a mannequin I knew. Uh, well, I'm probably not one to talk because I'm a demon. So I'll say no. In the real world, obviously. It's probably not a good idea. Sure, why not? Alright, we'll see ya. You have a good time. And that's all we need to do here. Uh, this is, that's completely optional. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Uh, but with that though, we can leave. We can start heading to the next part of the cow. Well, we can start kind of heading towards the end of this Kalpa. We've been here for a while, so it'll be kind of nice to get out of here. Thankfully, the next Kalpa's pretty short from what I remember. Um, okay, so we just need to go back. Oh, we can't go back. Shoot. How the hell do I get out of here again? I need to find a... I need to find a uh, exit. Shoot. I don't remember exactly where the exit is. Well, if I just go to my old notes... <laughs> That's why I write notes, baby. Okay, that doesn't help at all. All right, then, well, I'll just wander around then until I find it, so that's probably just what's going to happen. Well, we probably don't want to go that way. All right, found it. All right, so we want... So we need to just get out of here. So this puts us back at... 
Does this put us at the normal one? I don't remember. Alright, let me see. This is... I'm trying to remember where this... As long as this isn't... Okay, good. This takes me back. Okay, now what we want is a... First, a heal. But what we want is a new moon. Thankfully, though, I think it's going down. Alright, here we go. A new moon. Let's go through the hall. I guess you could immediately do this. You could just go to the new moon immediately. Because this is how you get to the uh, boss. Um, we also lost Odin, so that's a bit of a bummer. But we'll be okay. I wasn't planning on using him for the boss. Oh, shoot, but... Okay, that's actually really sucky because this is another new cursed area. And we're going to lose a lot of life. Especially since I can't heal. I don't have any guys that can heal outside of battle. Okay, where is a door? Is there a door around here? Nope, there's not. Okay. Um, let's go this way. Yeah, this... Thankfully, we have the repel, but this is not great. Hello, Mothman. Yes, I think once you go through the door up here, it's boss time. I'm quite sure, so shoot, that's not great that we don't have a, my healer. Okay, I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just randomly running around now. Oh, we'll grab this item. This stone. Okay, that's not bad. Not what I want. I don't really. I rather. I don't really need one because I'm going to use the death stone. Um, actually, where am I? Uh, crap! I'm lost. I looked down at my fit, foot for some reason. I can't think. I want to go this way. Yeah, I don't. I mean, the next thing I might make is the trumpeter, but that's probably it. Uh, shoot. Fine. I'll use a bead. I got plenty of them. Because I'm about to run into an enemy. Okay, here we go. I think this is... Oh yeah, this looks dangerous. Yep, the Wicked King's Hall. Alright, first we're going to... We don't need you. You're not going to be... We're going to have the Black Rider. Uh, my... Yeah, my team's not great for this. I could potentially lose here. It's actually very likely. Um... Okay, let's give you back some of your magic. Okay. Yeah, so what we got... I wish I wish we had someone else besides her, but she'll be okay, I guess. You, Yeah, you definitely... But thankfully, though, she know... Well, shoot, I wish she know death. If she know death, that'd be better. But, so we got... Of course, we, we know death. He repels death. Um, and he is known to death, too, so that's fine. Um... This will just have to work. Um, yeah. Okay, we'll see how this works out. I, I might win, I might lose. We'll see. But this could very easily be very difficult. The only thing that sucks, though, if I die, I'm going to have to redo the bells again.
All right, Beelzebub, the Lord of Flies. Um, anyways, I had to actually redo this because I died the first time. Um, so I went back and I made Mother... I made the Harlot because I just needed someone else who could, you know, help heal because uh, the team I had wasn't all resistant to death. And so, uh, yeah, things were getting a little messy. So we're trying this again. Um, this time, though, with her, she's going to be a pretty huge asset since she'll be able to heal everyone. She's got a lot of magic, and she has fire, which, um, the only things that, uh, this guy's neutral against is fire and physical damage. He resists everything else. So, right now, my main goal is just to, um, actually, I should have bought some... Yeah, my main goal right now is to just lower his abilities. Um, he'll keep the stats lowered in my stat debuff, uh, my stat buffs until he gets around half life, which is around 7,000. He has like 16,000 life, so once I hit, once I do about 7,000 damage, he'll start uh, debuffing um, us and uh, getting rid of the debuffs on him. But I'm just using the debilitate, which gets rid of every single buff. I mean, which lowers the stats by one and everything. Oh, and she also resists physical. So she's she's actually pretty damn awesome. Um, yeah, so she's going to be kind of a big thing for keeping us um, alive. Because she's going to, you know, make sure we stay healthy. And she's going to do some damage. She unfortunately, she learns um, focus later on, so she doesn't have that right now. But we at least can do fire damage. And we have the fire boost. Only thing is, I might not make her do any magic. Just because I need her to keep as much... MP as I can, because I don't want to have to, um, yeah, I don't know. Nice thing is, though, she absorbs lightning, so that ends his turn a lot quicker. Yeah, so I don't know. She's, she's, yeah, I'm glad I made her. I should have made her the first time, so I had to redo the bell thing and the getting here, but that's pretty easy. But how much does she do physical? Yeah, she does. <laughs> she attacks, like, five times, which is kind of cool. Um, I think I'm probably just going to make her pass, though, with her turns. If she doesn't need to attack, if she doesn't need the heal, then she's going to pass. And as you can see, we're already um, getting some of the benefits from our debuffs. But unfortunately, like I said, once we get him around the half health, he will stop allowing us to debuff him and debuff ourselves. Though, so It's nice to just have them right now, but it's not, it's not a long-term thing. Okay, that's as much as him. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to give him a chakra drop because I'm going to make him, when he actually starts debuffing, when he starts getting rid of the buffs, I want him to waste a turn on it. Unfortunately, she doesn't absorb wind, but that's okay. Um, but yes, yeah, so we'll just keep focusing and punching through. I unfortunately don't have any... Um, I don't have... Uh, buh, 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 buh. My mind is a blank. I don't have any uh, magic that can make my physical attack go up, which is a bit unfortunate, but it's okay. Um, he also, I also have focus on him, too. So I could also make uh, Abaddon use focus to an attack if I wanted to. But yeah, as you can see, he's just not... Yeah, he's just not doing a whole bunch right now, but again... That's going to change really quick, but I, I'm, I'm feeling this team. I'm feeling Harlot is going to be really, really useful. And I might just start doing some mana drain on him too, so that I can... Um, so when he starts getting to his second phase, I can have Black Rider set up a magic shield just to reflect everything. Except the only thing that sucks is he has, an all, he has two almighty attacks, so they can't be reflected. So, bit of a bummer. But, and one of his almighty attacks has a chance of instant death. So that's why you really want to make sure that you um, have characters that can, um, that are resist, that are, you know, can't be instantly killed. Uh, we're going to pass. And then you can attack. 500, not bad at all. So yeah, we should be getting, okay, yep. Yeah. All right, now's the real battle. <laughs> yep, so there he goes, getting rid of our buffs. And now he's going to start focusing, which is definitely pretty bad. But he still has all his debuffs, so that's at least something. So there's still a chance that he can miss, which is good. But I'm going to go ahead and raise our defense. Because he doesn't... 
he doesn't use a turn to get rid of your debuffs and his uh, your buffs and his debuffs. He does either one or the other. So what I'm hoping is he will just attack. Uh, he'll attack first. Oh, okay, never mind it. He keeps all of his buffs then and the focus. Oh, and he attacked Mother Harlot. Perfect. Again, she reflects physical attacks. So that's actually pretty damn perfect. Um, let's just go ahead and raise her defense again. That was great. I Yeah, that was perfect. Um, yep, you don't need to do anything. You're good. And why don't you go ahead and just make him waste a turn. Get rid of that. Him wasting a turn is always a good thing. And then we'll slowly chip away by doing this. Um, and then really quick, just to be a dick, let's put up a magic shield. Again, it won't do anything against his anti-magic, but... Oh my gosh, he keeps attacking her. Again, that's great because... Uh, ends his turn instantly. So that actually works out perfectly. Um... Let's go ahead and just put a Rakunja, I mean a Sukuja. And then I'll use, I'll, I'll pass with you. I'll use Debilitate once more to lower your defense. And everything really. Divine Shot, hopefully he doesn't do anything to my main character, that will really hurt. Nice. Oh yeah, here's Death of Flies. That's his almighty move. But it didn't really do much, but you know what, I have a lot of defense ups, that's why. Yeah, he didn't get rid of any, and he has a couple of attack downs, so he's really... Yeah, this is actually going really well. This is going incredibly well. I'm very happy with this. First time I got kind of steamrolled because I had... A, I didn't... I didn't have Mother Harlot, and then Odin died right before I got to the room, so I didn't have another healer on standby, and then the other healer I had that has prayer uh, got killed really fast and she's weak to lightning too and he likes to use lightning okay he tanked that's fine oh but i got a venge off so that's good cool. yeah he's just yeah, this is going pretty well i'm not even sure if i'm at a good level to fight him but it works out fine um, let's just throw up another evasion um I don't think I need to heal. I think I'm okay. Why don't you go ahead and just attack? Nice. And then Divine Shot? Actually, I should probably heal. You're at 492. I don't like how low your life is. Oh, but... Um, let's just throw up magic. Hopefully he uses just a random spell. So he, Okay, well that's that doesn't reflect off of that, so it's... But even still, though, he has so many debuffs. I'm surprised he's not using... I'm surprised he's not getting rid of them. That's actually really shocking. He normally does not let them stay this long. Why don't you get some mana back? It sucks that he doesn't have meditation. That's okay. Um, heal. And why don't we have you focus, too? Yeah, you, you show him that time. Okay, and we dodged. Yeah, again, this fight is normally way harder. He totally tore my ass up the first time I fought him in this recording. But, um... I guess he's deciding that he's just not really interested in, like, getting rid of the stat debuffs I have on him. And you can attack these if you why not. Yeah, you do about 100. Not a ton, but it's okay. I could use more debilitates, but he's just gonna get rid of them eventually? Or not, okay. I, I guess, again, I, I guess it's not really his idea of a good plan. Alright then, I guess I'll just keep, uh... Oh, he's almost dead too. Wow, that's uh, pretty awesome. Let's be a dick and fully heal. Uh, why don't you just attack? And we'll focus. Yeah, so I pretty much got this in the bag. Okay, here we go, another... Yeah, again, this isn't going to do anything, though. Yeah, didn't even hit the triple digits. Dude, you're... You're... You're you're done. You are so done. We are... We are really close to ending you. And again, he's not... Oh, I should... He's not heal... He's not getting rid of his debuffs. That's so weird that he doesn't normally allow himself to 
remain this debuffed or me so buffed. There we go. He finally got the idea. But he still used a stupid attack. Oh, you'll get it eventually. Yeah, we're not doing nearly as much damage, but that's okay. Um, we will pass with you, then we will heal with you, then we'll debilitate, and then we will focus. Yeah, and Abaddon's almost already out of MP too, so he's only got one more debilitate. And again, terrible move choice. You could also use Red Rider too. I think he has actually more resistances than, I mean, more uh, stuff. I think he actually has, I think Red Rider might actually technically be better because sh sh uh, Red Rider, because he, she can um, absorb more, um, uh, what is it? Has more uh, things that it absorbs. I think it can, uh, is resilient to fire and uh, wind. Wow, dude, really? Okay. Just keep doing that. But Marlet, Mother Harley, oh, wait, wait. But Mother Harley, the reflex, um, physical, which is actually pretty damn good. Since so many, pretty, pretty, since every enemy pretty much uses physical at some point. Okay, so that was great. Fortunately, no level up, but, well, Black Rider and Abaddon did. That's fine. Well, he did again, since he leveled up before. Uh, sure, what do you want to talk about? Yeah, we just beat Beelzebub. You know, I think I'm pretty damn worthy. Uh, no, nah, you don't need that. No. I don't care if you're disappointed. Just be happy you beat Beelzebub. It's pretty impressive. In and of itself. Alright, well, we're done here. Let's continue on. Get the hell out of here. And like we get all these items. Ooh. But, well, actually. Are there any enemies that can come in here? I'm gonna. And we get 6666 Maka. Hold on. I wanna. I wanna wait until we get a uh, full moon. So let's get this full moon. There's there's probably good items we can get here. So first though, let's heal. Yeah, that worked out perfectly. I'm very happy with that. That actually turned out really easy, but I think. I think I mainly just won because AI was being stupid. Mainly because he kept attacking with lightning and Harlot absorbs it and physical with Harlot who reflects it. He only did focus once. Okay, anyways, let's see. We should be... There we go. Full. What's all this goodies? Magic incense. Okay. And strength incense. That's good. And this probably would have been vitality. Damn. I'm an idiot. Okay. Well, we're done here, so we can leave. So we can... Yeah, that's pretty much it, but we need to get to the, uh, if you remember, the next, um... We need to get to the next, uh, Kalpa, but we don't actually get to it by going through there. If we talk to the Mothman, though, he'll tell us where we need to go, I believe. The Star Key. Yeah, so we need to find the star key, and where we need to go to is actually the second Kalpa. That is our destination. But first, let's can we open up? I actually wanna I wanna do this real quick. Can we open up our map in here? No, I don't think there's anything really of use in here. Yeah, so we can just leave. Um, I don't think there's, I don't think the girls are down here. If they were, that'd be great, because then they can just take you back to the entrance of the Kalpa. But, I don't think they're here. I don't even know which way I'm going. Is this a dead end? Where's this take me? It's a dead end. Okay. Yeah, getting out of here kind of sucks, though, honestly. Um, yeah, well, let's find a way out. The thing that kind of sucks, too, is they don't let you open up a map. I think it's out this way. Yeah, here we go. Okay, cool. And then we... I don't think that takes us... No, we don't want to go there. So, yeah, because we want to go down here, and if you remember, that's where the... We need to find a way to open that up. 
But to do that, though, we need to, um... We need to, uh, get the star key. So that's what we need to go do. And to do that, we need to head to the second Kalpa. So let's go do that. I believe I know where I need to go to in the second Kalpa. So, yeah, well... Hold on, I'm gonna meet you there, because I gotta go through all these little two beat turns, so I'll see you in a second. Oh, hey, look. I found a ladder. Right over here in this corner. That we haven't gone to yet. Yep, this is exactly where I need to go. Yep, okay. Yep, it's been undone. We can go through here now. I could not remember how to get through... I could not remember how to get over here. Whew, the experience in here is pretty good. All right. So yeah, I remember now. Just got to go all the way through here. It's pretty easy. It's going to be kind of annoying to get out of here, but I guess I can just go visit Dr. Dark. Um, I think I want to go... No, that takes us out, so we just want to keep circling in. You can come here early if you want, and you get a bunch of money, but it's kind of hard. Now, this is a pretty damn good place to grind. I really wanted to. But I don't think I want to. I might need to, though. Eh. For the next boss, but I could probably do it in the next Kalpa. I think I'll be okay, though. I managed to beat Beelzebub, who I think is actually kind of harder. Alright, we're almost there. There he is. And there we go, that's all we need to know. Now that we learn that his drinking buddy has the key, we can now find, well, that's the next step for the key, but you know, though, I'm going to end the video here, and we're going to go ahead and try and get that key in the next part. So this has been a game. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Okay, bye then.